Viewer discretion is advised. You, you, you're rocking with the best. So what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Super lit in this bitch. <laughs> Yo, I'm going straight cyborg, bro. I'm going to have a blunt roller in this arm. I'm going to have a grinder in my elbow. Bring, Bring that, that one, one back, back from, from the top. From the top. From Walmart, one of the little kitty pools. And I was like, really? He, he, was <laughs> he was playing. He was ready. Break it off another hot explosive mess. What's going on? This is the EX3 Podcast. Raphael in this bit. I see that, I see that. All up in this hole. TM, TM, and T. This cat, but. <laughs> this cat, look, we were saying earlier how he looks like a Christmas uh, aerobics dancer from the 80s. Come on, guys. You can do it. And a one and a two. Isn't that crazy that they dressed like that? Like the thick ass. It was like a wristband over their socks. Facts. Like what did that do? No, Wouldn't that slow you down? It looked like a scrunchie, man. He had like a Facts. like a scrunchie, like right on like his legs. Like a sweater sleeve just on your like fucking. Just cut off the Facts. blood flow of your legs. But see, like, when they came nervous. out with it for the pencil, fire. Remember the little the gripper, the gripper thing. Ooh, I know you talking about pencil? like a little like. And it yeah, gave you yeah, like a little cushion. Yeah, 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 I feel you. What? what? Dude, it used to suck writing them long, writing too Facts. long the wooden pencil. Yeah, you be like, ah, throw that on there. Like, like oh, a little condom good. before you start yeah. getting to work. Look at this guy. This guy again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta wear your pencil protection. <laughs> Facts. I can see Icy in class slowly putting on the, the pencil gripper. You damn skippy. Oh, he's like, he gets in class. He's like, mm-hmm. all right, uh, you got a five page essay today? Ah. <sighs> Time to put on my trusty pencil condom. Start moaning as he's right. Brought to uh, you by, <laughs> brought, brought to you by the, uh, Magnum. Could you imagine now? Uh, the safest pencil. Could you imagine if Magnum, <laughs> if imagine if Magnum sold school pencils? <laughs> Just a big ass. Black and gold pencil. A big ass. I'm saying a big ass. 11 inch. Big ass diameter. They did have those pencils. <laughs> You no, remember, I know what you're talking you about. Remember they used to, yo, I know, I know what you're talking about. Though. They were like, they were like this thick. They what? They were about like a half foot long. Yo, I never seen yeah. that. Yo, if you wanted yeah. to knock a nigga out with that, bro, it was it was next to the cell phone. If you ain't had that, the cell phone. About was to next say, to them you. phones used to be big. They had them uh, sidekicks. What? They were like, and this big. I never got into the sidekick. <coughs> like I had yeah. one. People, you I had one. I, see, I had a, I had a razor, man. Like I was, I was like the razor, man. And other people had, had blackberries. One. They played snake on it all the time. Remember that? I, was, I fought with blackberries. Blackberries? Yeah, for real. Shit, for real. I didn't get shit done, man. I always borrowed my friends to just play snake the whole class. The only thing that sucked about that phone is that ball kept fucking falling oh, out. Oh, dude. When thing. they went to the sensor, I was like, game changer. That was, that was, uh, that was the... Yeah, that thing like fell apart all the time. I yeah, think. it was worse than the fucking mouse. You remember the mouse that had the ball in it? Oh, yeah, on the yeah, laptop? On the bottom, on the bottom. What? No, from school. <coughs> oh, I don't on the bottom. The they Dells. Happened, they happened in the middle, and they had thing was like thing was like a spear on top of the mouse. I was like, what? And it was always a motherfucker coming in there stealing the ball. Yeah, it felt like, like old ass on, gum. I can't even do homework. Fuck. Dude, I forgot all about that. Yeah, we've been with the laser for so goddamn yeah. long. It's like we forgot all about that shit. Yeah, right. Now we're spoiled, man. I got like Bluetooth, everything, man. Like Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard. I could do anything anywhere. Bro, I was just telling her like. My mind blew the other week about how much the fucking phone does. For real? Everything. No, the phone has like I forget the amount, but oh yeah, it's more it has more computing power than the than the spaceship that landed on on the moon. What? Yeah, <coughs> I yeah, believe like the you. The iPhone has more computing power than the spaceship that went to the moon. Like I found that nuts. The specs are like computers from back, you know, in the late nineties. Well, used to be like they used to be like a whole building. Like a computer Facts. would be a whole floor. But my thing is the the phone is like merging, like um what is that Call of Duty Mobile's coming out? Yeah. Bruh. I knew a dude when a note. What do you need a game console for? Well, no, <coughs> I mean you you seen the uh, the Nintendo the new Nintendo system, man. You can bring that anywhere. Uh, 
the true, Switch. But you still got to bring something. They put in Call of Duty right here, I guess baby. that's true. I mean, like, you got, you got like, one-stop shop. You got a phone. You can call people. You can text people. You can play video games on it. Like, calculator. Yeah. Yo, I was like. This cat said calculator. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Cac- <laughs> calculator. Calculator. Um, uh, no, I'm saying out of all the things. remote control, and I was able to just. Yeah, I did that, too. Um, I was going to say, when the, when the note first came out, I knew a kid. He didn't have a computer, but when he went home, he had a keyboard, a monitor, speakers and he just plugged up his note and ran everything from his uh yeah that's how phone. i got it so. i have a little um little keyboard thing that that's the future i think on this thing, and i'm doing majority of my work comes from here i do all my video if i have to do like major phone. work as far as video i'll do the video well, i mean there, there's literally an app for, there's literally an app for everything yeah. man like you can do whatever you want on your phone or you can at least start on it like photoshop has an app yeah, like yeah. all their uh all their adobe like, products have apps detail, but right right yeah, i'm saying you I can start and stuff. kind of brainstorm on the plane and once you get home you can finish it and obviously if you have like a like i have an iphone and then i have a mac so i can just airdrop whatever i'm working on on my phone straight on my mac and that just like I can't make the switch. I can add, but See, I can't I, make the full switch. I'm the opposite. I'm a, I'm an Android control. phone person, but I'm a Mac. I'm a Mac user. Yeah, I need, I need to get a new phone anyway, man. My I have had the same iPhone for like six years, man. I'm sick of it. What, what iPhone? It's like an iPhone six, I think, man. You it's still been, got the six? Yeah, man. It's been a long time. I at least got to the eight. Yeah, man. I yeah. couldn't. I couldn't. I always like to get the gear that was li- like now. I'm gonna do probably like the iPhone. S Max or something like that because all the bugs are out of the situation. But if I go out and go get the one that um the eleven, huh? Yeah. Oh, with the like three cameras on there. Yeah. I know a dude that just got one. I don't know him, no, but he comes to a Remix Lounge and he just got it and he left it on the bar. Someone <laughs> got that bitch. Isn't that thing like fifteen hundred dollars or some shit? I think it's like thirteen or fourteen. They ain't going. That's crazy. Just for a phone, man. Yeah. They've been raising their price to keep yeah. their shares. Uh, if they keep up. going higher, if they get to a, if they get to uh, fifteen hundred for just a phone, I'm going back to Android again. Because they they've been they've been losing. Their company has been uh, their market share has been shrinking. So to make up for that, that's why they're just jacking up the price for every phone to make it look like their stock is still growing. But they're well, losing see, I think market that would share. Have a reverse effect on that, to be honest. Right. Like, no one's gonna buy that shit. No. It's too expensive. People well, well, people. The, older phones. the problem is, well, not the problem. People don't outright buy it, so yeah, they, they don't feel like they're spending thirteen, you know, fourteen. Right, they got plans like pay it exactly. Off time, it, it's so. built into your. But it always sounds better than it looks. It's like, you know, trade in your phone, you get this one for yeah, you, you know, just X amount of dollars, and it's yeah. like, but like you're in a contract for like five years before Facts. you get that shit off. And it's like before five years later, the phone's obsolete. So yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, either way, <laughs> you fucked. Yeah. Whatever. If you pay it outright. Still, fuck. Pretty much. Because it's going to be obsolete. That's technology, though, anyway. That yeah. technology has been advancing at such a rapid pace. Before, when you get everything, like, man, I finally got this. And they come out with a greater, better one the next day. Dude, I seen this producer. This motherfucker was using, you know, the, the Max with the with the colorful backs? Yeah. The, the original IMAX? Yeah. He was yeah. still making beats on that. On the still IMAX? Still killing it, though. Yeah. How would the, what would he have on there as a dog? I don't know what he was doing. It was some something from Logic, back. It was Logic Pro. It was one. something from back then. <laughs> yeah, and then he had like a, he had like a multi-track cassette recorder. Was he still killing the beats though? It wasn't my cup of tea. Like he oh. was doing like boom bap, which you don't need a lot to do boom bap. I wouldn't doubt that. Just make a loop and a drum. You don't really need a good computer if you have good hardware, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. The good for the good software, you need a good computer. But if you have good, good don't get me wrong, hardware. that bitch didn't start right up. <laughs> he had to, he had to do something. Like, the dung, and then actually it was like five minutes later. Yeah, he had to. Yeah. he had some frustration on his have face. Have you ever seen that that scene? I forget. Uh, man, what was it? What was it? That Ben Stiller movie with the models. Oh, as, you, as I get older, bro, I'm deleting movies. Nah, I feel you, man. But there was a scene where where they were like, the files are in the computer, and it was like that OG like iMac with like the it was like purple, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get like, what do you mean the files are in the computer? Right. And they're like sitting there, and they're like trying to like take it apart, like looking wow. at where the files at, and they start like butt- throwing it around. You notice that like for the longest time during I'll say about the '90s to 2000, everything just had color. Like you remember the, the the Nintendo 64 when they came out? Oh, they the had like, Game Boy Color. They yeah, they had yeah, they had all. I had one of them, man. Mine was like lime green, man. I, I had, had like <laughs> that, that, that see-through purple. 
GameCube. GameCube. Nah, they had one. They had solid colors. They stopped getting them the colors. But during the nineties, it was just like you can get this Nintendo with the gray, or you can get the purple one that gets an extra controller. You get two free games with it, and you get a, like. It's well, see, the good thing purple. about the colors, I remember, because I couldn't play my OG Game Boy at night because mm. they didn't have the backlight on Mm-mm. the screen. So you had to play it during the day. You had to have one of them like plug in lights that you came over here on the top. <laughs> but like the, when they came out with, like, I think, I think it was the color that came out and that was a back, it was like backlit. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can play, Facts. like I can play in bed, man. Like my mom's like, go to bed. And I'd be like, all right, I'll go to bed. No problem. And I'll be playing Pokemon until like, till like one, two in the clock in the morning. She's like, why are you always tired? And I'm like, <laughs> Don't know. Eh, nothing, you know, I just didn't get a good sleep. No, I had to beg my mom to stay up past like 11 because uh, <laughs> wrestling didn't cut off until like 11.05. I don't know nothing. Eleven oh five. Yeah, they would always because they they made it unpredictable, and they would take up that commercial time, so it seemed like the fight went a little longer. Oh, and they, they were like, "Oh no, no, we're gonna keep the cameras here." It, it yeah. was it was a plot the whole entire time, but they they had me every week. They had me every week. All right, month, please, just no. Mondays. Just five more minutes. Come on, just nope. Mondays. Nope. I remember like Monday night football growing up, and like mm-hmm. cause that should be. Uh, yeah, late, bitch. Like, damn. Well, one of them games, what do they start at? Like, 8 o'clock? Mm-hmm. 9 o'clock? No, it was like 9. Was yeah, you went to like midnight. Side. Yeah. And <laughs> with them stopping and, you know, starting the clock. Yeah. You don't know when they ended. Yeah. It's say 14 right there, but it ain't. Mm-mm. Not going for 14 in football time. minutes? Nigga. That's three hours. Yeah, much. They, that's like the the last like two minutes in basketball too, where they say oh, they it's fouling two minutes, all the time. It's two minutes, but like timeout taking free throws left and right, and it take about like twenty minutes for the last two minutes of the game. That's the main reason why I watch baseball, bro. Oh man, they'll be all night. I can't watch baseball at all, live on TV, wherever. I can't watch it at all. Dude, y'all know who Ken Griffey Jr. is? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. we know yeah, who yeah, this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. This motherfucker fell asleep in the dugout. <laughs> Well, the, the no, no, said, I think he went from the dugout to like the inside part, and they were and he was up, and that like he was up to bat, and he <laughs> he was asleep. It's like, oh, wake up, man! That's yeah, it. That's get it. Up. That says everything about the Time game. You know. That's that's that sport has so much leisure time. Like, that's dude, what I'm saying. Well, well, I'm sitting there. I'm thinking, man, like, name another sport that you can eat in. Like, while you're, while you're the There's like, no people, time. People there should be a time clock for pitching. Like, right. the pitcher be like, he sits there. Like, come on. <laughs> Pitcher's like, oh, let me take a break. Bat- batter's like, all right, hold on, give me a second, give me a right, second. Right, yeah. yeah, like then they agree on when they. I'm like, oh. I feel like they need to like with some sports we need to like change like basketball, basketball back then to versus today not the same. Nah. Baseball still the motherfucking same. Nah, like, I feel they, like a lot of those old school games they just don't adapt with the times. And then they just kind of like like baseball man. Just to me like I don't get me I wrong. Baseball it. back then when I was little. All everything I would watch, I would watch it because time just stood still for a while. Like you had to be home at a certain time to catch the show, show because you know TV right, and recorded. Right. But now that we have so much leisure time, we could watch. Yeah, stuff. We're, we're not as um, patient. Yeah, yo, speed we, this the fuck up. Yeah. When you think about it, man, there's so many sporting events happening at one time now. Like then, I feel like baseball on you know or like Sunday night football, man. Nobody was watching anything else on Sunday night. It was just Sunday night football. And like now you got like you got like hockey, you got like stupid sports on TV. I saw the other day I was watching tractor pulling on like it was like ESPN the Ocho. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like how are you gonna watch that? No, you know there's a, a there's a a sport in the Olympics where you don't run but you <laughs> you race walking. You seen that brisk walk? Yeah. <laughs> but come on, dude. When you <laughs> when you be telling it the jog, like you just speed walk yeah. race. Who could walk the fastest? Dude, that's no respect, though. I feel like I feel like middle-aged white women would win at that sport, no doubt. Like, they're in the grocery store. You put them in the grocery store, and you got them like, all right. Could you? Get get I could just, like, see see the person training. Like, you see them around the track going around. It's just. <laughs> What's the training? Like, do you, like, run That's what that I'm saying, right? Like, what do you do? I don't know. I don't know. See, you look, you look natural, though, man. You got the outfit on and everything. <laughs> right? you got, you got, this is like official brisk walking uh, like, athlete of VX3. Like, I think the best person or, or the, the best sport that adapted to the time at the time, well, they was a little ahead of their time, and not a lot of people is the UFC. When they came out, they had the quick, unpredictable. I think boxing needs to adapt that. 
They need to go quicker rounds, like like well, not quicker rounds because three minutes is quick as shit, but um, uh, like six, six rounds. Man, I feel like you and know, then add more boxing on to like more like the UFC. You got more cards, right? Same thing. We finna get ready. I mean, to how many fight? Show. Like how many fights are there in one night? You know what I mean? Like there's like UFC has there's like eight fights or something like more than that, about ten. Ten fights, yeah. But they have the prelims and then yeah, they, they have, have the main event is like yeah, at like five, midnight. Like, yeah, they'll have five. From the main event, be five fights, and then from the uh, anything before the main event, be five fights. And it could be more depending on that day, but you can basically like I want to do that, um, like their new ticket sales because I went to one, but it was just like a one-time thing. Now they got this like package deal. You pay like thousand two hundred, you and your friend get like. Hotel accommodations, you get the you know beer. Where'd you go? Like Vegas? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a, a lot of Vegas packages that you'll yeah, that, yeah that'll yeah, pop yeah. up. You get there's sometimes you could go to Vegas for cheap, like a hundred bucks. I wouldn't doubt round it. trip. But my but my point of what their 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 market is and which we're doing for our show. Come <laughs> out, come out to the show, guys. <laughs> Second season, y'all make sure y'all come out there. Um, but what we're doing for the show is. We got a slew of artists coming on one marquee to rock out a show, which is should, what should be done. They're trying to bank on the old model, which is you get one main fight and then you get a co-main. Don't work. Well, boxing is so tough because it's not unified. There's so many different. Yeah, the BBC. Like if it was a league like you, like UCF was right. like a UFC, whatever it is, where you the best two people have to fight. And boxing, you could you can duck someone because you you know that well, they're. The thing is now, man, there's so much money on pay per view where no matter win or lose, you're gonna be making like stacks anyway. So like Facts. when Pacquiao fought Mayweather that one time, man, it was all defense because Pacquiao was gonna walk away with like right. fifteen million dollars just in just in pay per view. Yeah, I'll tell you. Wait, wait, wait a minute, we talking about names? I'm talking about when you're trying to grab a name, like what we're doing. Like, let's be honest. Like, I mean, how far is your reach? Like, we, that's. I don't know. I mean, I got like anywhere in the ballpark of like six hundred. That's that's not much. So, I need you guys that may right. have those same type of numbers to come in in the, in the same place. Well, the thing is, yeah, we bring people from our side. Yeah, we everybody bring brings. Side. It's like a festival. Yeah. Like when yeah, you package a bunch of now. artists, you can you can sell. Now you can sell a ticket for like sixty, yeah, <coughs> seventy bucks, and but it's an all day or multiple day event type thing. Oh, but the yeah. problem is a lot of people's egos in the way. That's that's the other. Part. I feel like that's the one thing around here where you, it's like hard to get around. That's why there's really like facts. It's hard to get big name artists to, to come out of two three nine because you know you got artists thinking, oh, I want I want the top of the marquee. Or just fit in. See, I ain't even here to compete with people, man. I'm here to, like, work with people. Yeah. Like, ain't nobody better than the rest. We all doing our own thing. Your set is your set. Right. I've seen where, like, that's how some of these artists are coming up. Like, J. Cole, they had the opening set over, like, Jay-Z. Yeah, he's going to get the marquee spot. But then there's people that say his set killed his set. Doesn't matter. Don't matter if you go front, last, back, forth. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I went to a show when uh, NERD killed it. They were the best act, and they were, like, second. It was Lupe Fiasco, NERD, Rihanna, and then Kanye. And Kanye had the worst performance. This was then. Cause he was just on the stage by himself, and NERD had a band. And, you know, Pharrell, is, is he's just an entertainer, like, in between sets, talking to people, running around, acting crazy. Um, and then the hype man that's with them, I forget his name, but they just killed it. And Kanye was just on a... <laughs> he had the big screen, but he was by himself on the stage, just acting emotional. It was trash. It was NERD was the best. Um, Lupe Fiasco, Rihanna, and Kanye was the least entertaining. So it don't matter order. Nope, it means nah, nothing. Man. Nope, it's, it's always a show. It's always impact too. Yeah. It's the impact because like I feel like, and and one of my biggest like I'm a I'm gonna be like my number one artist like. The God to me. Lil Bow Wow. No. Andre 3000. Nah, he's dope. God to me. So, when you have him on the track, I don't care what order that motherfucker come in. He's he's damn near like God level on the beginning of a track. I but mean, not on only is he great, still, but he brings a great energy. So, it's like, a, you know, he got he got a whole show coming. So Usually, anytime they put him on a mixtape, they always put him first. Yeah, no doubt. No he's doubt. Always, That's like the opening song. It's what? Like, you got Andre. It's so, he got, he got so like, many verses. 
He has something like a uh, gangster shit from Snake on you. He murdered that. All the ATL ends he murdered. <coughs> um, and I then he murdered, man, um, the song they did with Raekwon on um, Equimini. Ooh. He murdered that. Facts. Uh, yeah, he got some legendary Ms. verses. Jackson, Facts. so fresh and so clean. Yeah, I mean, like, how do you not know those songs? You hey, y'all. Yeah. yeah, they they played at parties. They're, they're timeless, man. Those <sighs> songs, some of his songs are timeless, man. People still get hyped when you play Hey, y'all, man. That shit came out, like, 20 years ago. What? <coughs> All day. Hey, y'all. Uh-oh. Yeah, Hey, y'all is not in my mentions, but. <laughs> nah, I fuck with man, it. Man, that has no, I'm saying as a poppy. in there, even though it was, like, a high Shake it like a Polaroid you. picture. I got I'd you. You more talking <laughs> no. like his gangster. Yeah, I'm, ta- I'm talking about like I, I was thinking rapper, rapper, yeah. rather than just like oh, artist, artist. Yeah, but he you did have his... a few songs. It was kind of like, mm, where were no, you going it, with this? Cause he's doing like, hey y'all, he was doing something else other than rapping, which, which doesn't take away from, doesn't take away from him. But I just nah, thought a rapper, cause I started, you know, I started Outkast early. When you say Outkast, I think pre, uh, Love Below. Pre Love Below. All right. I that's just that. that's cause I'm. You know, it's the era that well, that sweet spot for me. I look at it me. as you transcending. <clears throat> Almost kind of like how you said. You said uh, Nerd with Pharrell. Right. When he did, he's done a lot of gangster ass shit. But then you look at the other side when he made Happy. Yo, my son was loving that track. Dude, people forget. Dude, uh, Pharrell's like he, fucking 50. This motherfucker look like he's 20, though. Facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> yeah. Like, this man got some good ass jeans, it's though. age. <laughs> You've been looking the same for a long time. For real. Here's, here's my philosophy, and, I, and I've been researching this a little bit. This might be some bro signs. I feel like for the guys, and I'm not making it right, but for the guys that hit on girls that were way younger, because I my dad was 30 and talking to my mom at 17. Damn. <coughs> so... That's like almost half of the age. My point exactly. And then I still look young <laughs> as fuck. So I want to, and Pharrell has the same situation. That's a rule of thumb. I think half your age plus five or some shit. Like my dad, I think was like 12 years older than my mom. So. Boy, that's a huge gap. Yeah, that's big. It make young <laughs> babies you though. It make like baby that, faces so that, out of so all So that of means what? Like uh, 30 and she was, she was 18? Like that? Uh, <laughs> I think my mom was 20 and he was 30 something. 30, yeah. 30, mm-hmm. 30. But see, I don't think it works the opposite direction, though. If the woman is older and she get pregnant. You're always super dude, politically correct. You're going you gonna to say that and be okay with it? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm thinking it. I'm, I'm using a lot of both no, You know what, though? Women from, are, from are ex- attracted to older guys. From experience. That's what I was about to say. It's like like a, from experience, like, you know. And let's be honest. You, you at 20 versus you at, like, 30. Just the game, the wisdom, like... Uh, your confidence level, mm-hmm. you're more attractive to a girl. It's just I know I I know at me at 20 and me now are in the, my 30s. Yeah, total different. Cause we I bring way into, more. Yeah, just confidence, and wisdom, game, yeah. and like everything is like. And then most women when they come like as soon as they get done with high school, they ready. They already like, yo, I'm looking for solid dude. I think they look for for. <laughs> I think they I think they look for leadership too. <laughs> Solid like, dude. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I ain't gonna say for the little few that you see, <clears throat> but I'm saying for the most part, as soon as they get out of high school, they're ready. Some are. M- Even the, a lot of yeah. ones that don't act like they are, low key they are. If they make yeah. a guy of like, you know, it's good very stand-up. rare in between that you'll get like somebody that's like an athlete. But I know like some. Business, I know some women in their forties that still acting like they're. You know, <laughs> in our no, yeah, I think that's just because yeah. of location, man. Like we in we in South Florida here, man. Like this is where people come to retire and they uh, yeah. they start. I know. Gr- I'm talking about girls that's <laughs> like, tr- like, made the mistakes over and over and over and over, over and still. That's because they still have it. bad boys. Right, right, and that's I mean, and that's that's what they want. But at some point, well, I'm talking. I know girls is like financially ruined. Like got their girl, got their kids in shelters and shit. Like at some point, don't you think? Hey, let me get, let me get a dude that might be a little lame. That got that's respond. You know what I mean? That can help me pay my bills. Got a little cash. Yeah, yeah like your kids out here suffering. <laughs> but I don't know. I look I at know. it this way, and I ain't gonna mention her name, but there's a girl on my page. 
am this one guy. The reason why I'm talking about this one guy is because I can't get rid of this guy. You ever have a person in this in your life that you you don't necessarily y'all don't got beef or anything, but it's just like, why are you always around me? Why do you, it, y'all always pop up in the same spot or you see him? Oh, the, fancy every, seeing you here. Yeah, every time. <laughs> like you ain't like y'all never like hung out, but you've always seen him and you just see him. I have that same guy. He met me at my apartment when I was living with uh, my uh, former roommate. And then I see him on the street. I'll see him at the store. And then now he's with this girl that I know from another page. And then it's like, she was like, nobody better be talking about my man. And then I look, I was like, that sounds like a familiar name. I click. <laughs> that it dude is him. that dude. Yeah, and I'm like, this is the dude you harboring? I'll show y'all after that. Nah, the podcast, but the nah it's like, like you choose who you choose, but I feel like like if you got some point and you're, I mean, you're in some point in your life and you're homeless and your kids are homeless and you, so you, you go get the, the you the you most you date and, yeah you dating like, dudes that cannot help your situation at all, mm-hmm. and then you got to think this this guy's an influence on your kids. He yeah. can't bring nothing to the table. I mean, you're in your forties, and jumping like I said, from, jumping from drug dealer to drug dealer. There's so like not to be like sound bad, but there's so many lame dudes that will help you out and be a good. Is it, you know what I mean? Like, but they don't want the lame though. I get it, but what about your kids? You gotta find that middle ground. You you exactly. That's why I have my gotta theory. Find that middle ground. Any guy that gotta be just the right amount of lame on a, on a scale right of a hundred. If you if you're a woman in that situation. The, the swag scale should not go above 70 percent and 70 because anything over 70 he ain't you got this he, scale, you he, got this scale he pulling right bitches at will yeah so i'm saying you so got to find that is the number 70 <laughs> so you, you need at least you, a seat if you need financial help so seven anything over 70 he's, okay so his he's swag pulling. shouldn't be too out of control like, like, exactly like, like he's he's got, he's got a nice it's like a girl you know a girl has crazy sex appeal Facts. you know what i mean right and sometimes you know like yeah she's for, she's for fun uh-huh. You feel me, like, uh-huh. cause she flirts too good. Mm-hmm. Like you, like, damn, you know what I mean? They know everybody. They know every DJ, every bouncer, every. Don't want that. Yeah, there's a certain point where you go, yeah, she ain't. You know what I mean? See, g- girls have to look at guys the same way. If he's flirting with the cashier, the waiter, he know. You know what I mean? His swag on point to where he could pull a bitch at will. He is. <laughs> 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 Just like with a girl, you know what I mean? If a girl yeah. got that sex appeal, but. These are facts. I ain't Just gonna trying lie. to help people. That's all. <laughs> He's trying to throw his dating tips. <laughs> Lee out here six nine and most. <laughs> nah, this game for the whole game. I think I think I think women already know this, but oh, of but they're so you know they, they like what they like. Yeah, Everybody they like an unwritten rule. Yeah, in ain't gonna lie though, guys do the same shit though. Facts. True like, you facts. See, you see 100%. a bad girl at the club, you know. But I will say this: we're less shallow. Shallow though. We'll we'll be in a situation. Think about this: we'll be. I wish Roxanne was here. We'll be in a situation, and the girl will be like, Mm-mm. "We'll be like, fuck it, eh. yeah. we'll let it go." <laughs> I girl was like, "No, Mm-mm. she ain't taking that L." We just like whatever. Sometimes you take L's in life. I think we take other things in consideration more. Like we might like a girl, but we might be like, "Nah, she ain't wife material." If once a uh, once a yeah, woman we'll likes a guy, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. he can have twenty baby mamas, uh-huh. you know, a, 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 a rap sheet as long as his arm. But I love him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this nothing is, else matters. Uh, only the 20th girl he's loved. That's I love him. Right. <laughs> like, damn. I, right. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Too much money. Too yeah, much, too facts. Much, too much money. Facts. Bruh. Dude, have you seen paychecks with, like, six deductions in it taken out for child I have support, had friends man? that was suicidal like, over that shit. Like, dude, he, dude made, like, $600 a week. It's, like, down to, like, 150 They got to go back to their mom. Cause they can take half, um, I think fifty one percent, and then if you get if they put you on late, you can get back, um, child support. So they can throw on top of that, mm-hmm. and they be taking like your bonuses and, bro. Fuck, fuck that. I had a friend. He went homeless. He moved back with his mom before, but you know at the same time he you know, I don't know had kids with random random woman. He had three kids, and it was devastating. Think about it, you make thirty thousand, that puts you down to fifteen. Yeah, that's not the kind of you can't uh, make it, take, man. That's that's uh, that's too many. We're getting them. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't even know how they get the estimates. <laughs> they just 
They just look like they just throw a random number out. I'm like, eh, that's getting. That's what you get. That should it's be like, good. Dude, right. he's gotta. He's gotta make a living somehow. Yeah, it's like no matter how much you're making, you're giving away seventy five percent of that money. Exactly. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the crazy part. Do you? They're making it seem like they're adding it up as if the the mom is not even available. <laughs> Doing a lot of, keep it down. Right? Doing a like, lot of we getting in depth in this. Uh, we helping yeah. society at the moment. Yeah, we helping. Yeah, <laughs> the Throwing future all generation. Right the, the three dating gurus over here, man. Yeah, Facts. Exactly. So they're making it seem like the mom is not available, and it's just the money is just taking care of the kid by itself. Like, can we add in their money too? Like you gotta yeah, give yeah. It's not just a one way street. It's like, the old school. Like, no, girl, guys aren't just the only one paying for yeah. the kids. Like it's gotta right. go both ways. It cause it's grandfathered in from the old days when women didn't work. And that's another thing. Like baseball, we haven't changed. Right, right. <laughs> like it's Wick is women, infant, and child. What a dude that. We have to fight ten times harder just to get. The kid, or I knew it, dude. It's because it's because uh, w- Wickham doesn't sound good. W- I knew I. Wick sounds good. But I recently, <laughs> this dude recently told me, Wickham. right? <laughs> this uh, I'm an infant child man, that doesn't sound good, man. Or Wick, it'd be wicked. It'd be a- <laughs> this dude told me how he got this girl pregnant, and um, he knew the exact dollar amount. Eighteen years of child support. It was like, yeah, that. <laughs> it was like that mistake cost me. Da 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 da. He knew the exact Ooh, amount. I wouldn't doubt it. I think that's what, it's right around like say, uh, old, like higher six figures. Facts. First eighteen years of you could tell he was on Google for a hot minute. <laughs> research. I'm saying if they taking three hundred out of every yeah, check, he's on like he's on like. Web- <laughs> you gonna do the oh. math? He's, like, on, he's on WebMD. He's like, yo, man, the cost difference between wearing protection <laughs> and eighteen years of a child's life. Yo. It ain't no joke, it, it, bruh. Nah, I believe you. I, I know, I know. Go get you a vasectomy, bruh. <laughs> it's painless now. They got a new technology where it's painless. Y'all get it. Is anybody it? club up? <laughs> Checking for my candy. Yeah, I, Dude, why God didn't give us like a button? You just push the button. Stop. <laughs> You're like, no, no kids can be, or you know what I mean? Like, you save the, be lit. The, the sperm that could get a girl pregnant, and then yeah. there's the other sperm, so you can still experience it. He's like, all right, but mm. it's like a you, you, ju- you, you, you size her up. She ain't got no job. Uh, nah. <laughs> 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 she got a bad attitude. <laughs> she got on fake eyelashes. Oh, that's a definitely. <laughs> yo, yo. We'll switch it up or down. If that was real. You Bruh. see more niggas keeping that bitch in the opposition. Yo, they got the um. You know what girls are doing, bro? No, hold on. <laughs> they got the what's the name now for guys? They got the plan. They got the the pill for guys now. It's a pre. Yeah, oh, I take I take that like a vitamin, dog. Put that like a vitamin. Wake up. You gonna see niggas? They drink the whole. Bitch, bitch, an OD on that shit. <laughs> like, man, I'm right. going to Miami for the right. weekend, bro. I'm like, dog, do, do y'all <laughs> sell this, y'all sell this in patches? <laughs> Can I get it? <laughs> Can I get? <laughs> gonna, gonna wear it constantly. Right. The guys will start wearing purses, even though they already are. But <laughs> just for that, <laughs> I'll wear a purse. <laughs> and have like four cases. In. <laughs> That should be infused and everything. You know how they put like vitamin D and like uh, uh-huh. calcium and everything. That should be in Wheaties, <laughs> be in Gatorade. Juice. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, do you want the fertile or non-fertile OJ? That should be in non-fertile, that, sir. That should be in toothpaste, <laughs> deodorant, <laughs> body wash. Oh, baby. Man. Got no kids out here. <laughs> And here at Bath and Body Works, we come out with a new non. You like hold on, hold on, hold on, real uh, quick. Body wash. Be- before you hit, like I just want to be safe. They <laughs> 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 got a mix. <laughs> Killing two birds with one stone. Hey, and now you smell good. Hey, no, nah, you got your bed. She's marinated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, they, they come out with a uh, the laundry detergent for it. Facts. Uh, you got pull up. <laughs> extra con- extra concentrated. Bitch, your nuts will just fall <laughs> off, bitch. <laughs> Boy so starts to go up a little bit. <gasps> like, oh, damn. That's funny. That's funny. Oh my side. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
Yo, that'll be the littest machine. Ever. I was gonna say I though, I can make a mill in the first. Oh, three hours. what? I will say this. Civilization will be ended. <laughs> we I th- done after that. I think right now it's slowly declining. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt like, it. Like negative point five percent or something. Because we don't need that many now. Back then they needed it for farms. Right, right. I'm, I'm, I'm my my mom is from fourteen. Yeah, my Woof. my grandfather. I forget the number, but it's definitely in the teens. He had like he had like eight sisters and like four brothers or something like that. Hold on, I have to ask this question. Imagine, imagine <laughs> you. You know what I'm about to ask. Fourteen kids coming out your hoo ha. No, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like years of just pain. Can only imagine. That thing. It's like, it's like, all right, this one's out. No offense. Next one. No offense to the ladies, but that thing gotta be out of commission, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a. Uh, well, it gets better with time. Yeah. I've heard. Ga- I got you. Yeah. Nah. Tell nah, that to the hoes. Nah, nah. I think she. Well, no, I never she, been with a girl. Had that Arby's meat. <laughs> we got the meat. She's talking about. I never been with a girl with a bunch of kids, but a girl with one kid, and out it was, you know, really good. So, but I don't know. It's just hard to imagine that you just got like a freeway of of babies. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I gotta ask this question. Have y'all had? Have y'all had pregnant pussy? No, not to my knowledge. But I know no, this, I know this one kid, man. One yeah, of my friends, bro. He's obsessed with pregnant women. I swear it's weird. He says he's like, man, that's one fine. It's one. Bro. I swear to you, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's so, weird like, because don't women's sex drive go up when they're pregnant? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. No doubt. Isn't that and, weird? And and while the pregnancy is going on, a lot of that secretions is coming out. It's a whole another, a whole another ballpark. So that like like the like the uh the baby juice is like lubrication. You saying? To a point where you don't, you don't I feel like if it. I was a baby and my and my mom was just getting ran through, I would come out and not respect her as much. <laughs> <laughs> you, you come out, you come out like this, looking at her. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Who's this? I could, but I could never get no sleep. <laughs> I always wonder why mom was making so much racket late night. Yo, I, bro, so many memories. I've heard it. Some, oh my god. You can never get that image out of I, I wouldn't doubt it. Luckily, I never had to deal with that. I mean, I never. No, it's seen crazy it. to think. It's crazy to think about eight pounds coming out. Facts. It's crazy to think about. Yo, I I know everybody in this building and had painful shits. Like, just imagine <laughs> more of that. <laughs> just, just. No, <laughs> oh, you ever had like a? You ever been really constipated? Uh, <laughs> it's probably like times a hundred. Uh. I wouldn't doubt that. Yo, anytime I'm constipated, I always wish I had like the handicap rails. <laughs> Bro, you side. ever be constipated? Like, yeah. ah, ah. You ever be constipated? You take you take like a little rest. <laughs> you can't even finish the turn. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh man, I gotta take a, I gotta yeah, take like a two bitch. rest. Half middle. time. Had to half like, time. It, 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 like, Too much protein. Like, uh. like it'll all the way fall out. It'll be like, and you be like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like man, I gotta go. I gotta go eat or something, man. I gotta take Ooh, a break. And you gotta muscle up the energy to get that last push. <laughs> you be mad at God though. <laughs> like like you awesome. couldn't design. You couldn't design us better than them. <laughs> Sit there, crack your neck, put on eye of the tiger, man. I got this. <laughs> oh man. Well, you know I'm just gonna leave it hang. <laughs> yo, I finish this yo, tomorrow. <laughs> yo, when Eddie so Murphy said, "Don't you just hate it when it just halfway come out and then just break off?" And you be like, "Damn it!" <laughs> and you wipe your ass with hold the whole roll until you can wipe it clean. That shit is. I oh, never had that happen. They ain't never clenched off and broke off on you. Never in your life. That's a lie, man. That's a that's a. Lie. I don't know what hey, you said halfway. No, I'm saying like it came out. And then it just it like this piece broke off. It did the Titanic. <laughs> it broke off, and then the other piece that was still in your ass was still there. <laughs> the last part. Not to my recollection. Not you to ain't my recollection. No more push. No nothing. Like it's just. Not to my recollection. Nothing. 
I like to finish what I start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave you in the bathroom for like 10 yeah, hours, Bitch, man. you coming out, though. Yo, nowadays, bro, I be on my phone. I be done finishing Yeah, shit. they say that's bad, too. Because you sit on the toilet longer, they say that's bad. Yo, hip-hop evolution, bro. It be having me like... There's this it, app, man. That, like, if you're at work and you clocked in, you can clock in on the, on, the, on the toilet and you can see how much money you make on the bathroom per year. Sit down, clock in, clock out, like when you go to the bathroom and shit. Mm. I know people that, man, they make most of their money on the bathroom. I mm. swear. I, I've heard of entrepreneurs, they do, they do their time in 15-minute increments. That's how much money they're making. Like 15, in 15, not like half hours, hours. Yeah, you know, most people money. do about an hour. Right, They right. know, all right, every 15 well, minutes, I make, money. Yeah, you're making well, like, thousands of dollars. I was watching something on uh, Bill Gates the other day, man. And he has stuff going on every, like, 10 minutes, dude. And he's always on time to everything. I'm like, how do you do that, man? I got, like, two things going on. I'm Yo, late to one of them. Like, wa- that documentary on Netflix? Yeah. Yo, Isn't I that watched that. I couldn't go to sleep. Dude, it was crazy. I couldn't go to sleep. His brain, and in some weird way, oh, he I feel re- like my mind works the same way, but not inventing stuff, but in entertainment. The like, fact I'm that he can field. retain, like, 90% of the information in his head is yeah. ridiculous. How they say he speed reads? Yeah. Like, well, he'll like, read a book. Well, like, like, he'll have, well, yeah, he'll read, like, 15 yeah. books in a day. He, like, has that, like, suitcase of books. Yeah. That is, like, his, like, uh, you know, his person packs all of it up for him every day. That's what's like, so right. Life ain't fair. And, and crazy, like, man. You can't. He, <laughs> he'll take a week off a month, go to this one house with, like, what, 40 books yeah, and just he has a run. library. Like you seen that library that yeah. he had though? Like yeah. yeah, that library was like three stories. I high. can't do that. And and he made a toilet that can flush by itself with no just off potable water, just off the machine. Like there's no running water coming to it. Like and he I was see. able and he was able to turn it into energy. Yeah, after. yeah, I saw I was that. Like, what the? F- Yo. Yeah, yeah, I know because he talked. He went to that one guy that was an investor or a manufacturer. He was like, he was like. So that was like the one problem I think that humankind has has solved if we solved any problems over the, our existence is is how to have like a good bathroom, like yeah, and like and then uh, he goes in and he completely reinvents the wheel and it's like, and then it's like why are we not having yeah. those in the house? I mean, you now? you go to what? a place where it's already all built up that has no plumbing, right? And it's like it's basically go, impossible. For, like yeah. he, they showed examples of like in India and Africa yeah. where so many people already live in there. All, so, Close quarters that they can't. It's almost impossible for them to do plumbing now, or it would cost so much. Well, that yeah, they, is, is, that's why they. He went to yeah. like different colleges and and different like uh, companies, and they pretty much did like invent your own, and you know we'll see what can work and out. And how they be throwing their their uh, waste in their yeah. rivers, and how to they it, drink how to water, make it, turn it into energy that they could use. Yo, seeing that was so disgusting. Like. Dude, dude, it makes you think about how lucky you are just to be born here. Yo, seriously, though. No, like, no, just, seriously. you could be born poor. You could not be that smart. At least you have a bathroom. That you like, literally, and like. And flush it. For real, though. And you just have so much potential. so much for granted. No doubt. So much. Blessed. Oh, my God. That's why, like, most of the stuff that's coming out now, like, we're doing now, I'm just, there's a different approach. I'm just coming in at the most humblest place. We're like, dude, we get the opportunity to try even if we fail we still get that opportunity that's like, the way these I see motherfuckers it, don't even get it. facts and it's common for like babies to die <coughs> stuff like that oh, the and kids to die yeah over there is high so somebody might have like 15 kids but like you know six of them would die or four of them yeah. would die like that one that one dude that you see that one guy that was uh i forget where he was from but he had like four or five of his siblings die and he was the only one that was left <laughs> it's like you imagine just from stupid shit like and like he like his siblings died from the cold or right, the flu you can go to the doctor here you can get a medication you'll be facts. all right in a week and what what kind of uh started his uh journey to solve that problem their their um <coughs> kid had diarrhea and then his wife learned of a kid that died of diarrhea and that's common in other countries yeah and that's for what kids. they did for the the foundation Michael, they they yeah. that threw me the fuck off they still dealing with diarrhea yeah, like, dehi- like dehydration. Yeah, some type of bacteria or something that, you know, got into the baby system. We go to the doctor, boom, take yeah, care over of it. We don't even go to the doctor. We have over-the-counter medication for that. Yeah. Sometimes you, go, you don't even have to. You, you can, go, you you can, can just go. nap it off. Like, it's not even. <laughs> or it's not it's not that severe. No. Because we don't, our water, our yeah, water sources are We don't really think of it like clean. that, but it could be life-threatening. Yeah. Dude, could you imagine, like, a mother, like, she have a baby and then, like, just the un- uncertainty. There's a good chance the baby's gonna die. Like, 
I bet that's probably from the vaccine. Like, we just so accustomed to, like, just having diarrhea. That's just an everyday occurrence. Well, it was because their water source is so bad and contaminated. They yeah, literally well, they throw their nowhere, shit. They have nowhere to dump it. Yeah, they, they they bathe and drink the water they throw their shit in. Yo, that had me damn near about to cry when I saw the kids. They were still playing. They didn't know. They, they don't even know nothing that germs. They don't even know anything. Nah. They're just playing. They think it's just harmless as fuck. Like you said, that that really teaches you to go into everything humble, for real though. Like, cause like they don't know anything different. Like, imagine if they came over here and this was a fucking paradise. Bro, dude, if they saw our water, they probably wouldn't recognize even it. At, like, They'd be like, "Why is it so clear?" <laughs> even at like shit, like shit places in the U.S. though, like for real, they come, they come over here. It's like a, you know, it could be the Goonies or whatever. They'd be like, man. Oh yeah, oh crazy. yeah, that's this facts. Is, is that's crazy. why you see some a lot of people come here and and you know they they succeed. Well, I say that about Fort Myers, dude. That's dirty ass fucking water. We went to the Cayman Islands. That shit, like, we saw the fishes. They was like, "Hey, what's, how yeah. you doing?" This, this is welcome to Cayman Islands, and they kept us swimming on. Like, here, that's, that's because we have we have these. No, that's more than that, man. There's like cigarettes, <laughs> semen, like yeah. hot beer, like whatever. It, that's because the mangroves, <laughs> uh, they it it tans the water. That's why it has that ugly brown color, tea looking color. And uh, shit's nasty here, man. Though, yeah, when I was on a cruise, though, I remember I was like, I never seen water this clear before in my that life. That shit be stinking. Like, it was legit something. blue. Like, it was blue. Yeah. Nah, that, that shit look like Glacier know, so. Freeze Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> right? You be want to drink like, that shit. Like glowing. You be want to drink that shit. You be like, damn, that shit look good. <laughs> yeah, like, you could just cup it and just. Facts. Oh, man. Nah, but for real, though, that water is. is it's dope. Because you, nice. you can see a shark from a mile away. Yeah. I thought I was in a dream. Fort Myers Beach, the shark be right next to you. <laughs> you What's up, player? You don't Come know until you get. Don't know until you get like, bit. Nah, nah, you come around my ways. Nah. Crip. Crip to. N- I saw something on Facebook that was like something crip. I can't remember. Oh no, hip. Hippocrips. 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 And then I didn't get it for like five minutes, and then I was like, oh, hippocrips. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, let's man. jump into these notifications. All right. Start right oh, nope. I was gonna say we did this last week. <laughs> 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 like these motherfuckers are slacking. <laughs> Don't, oh, that's the dude. The caption is Thanos. The caption is this nigga. He said he saw the hardest nigga with all the superpowers. He's got, he's got like bay, full a deck, Beyblade on there, like full deck ready to go. He's got the purple saber. I think that's the most powerful one. You got the gauntlet. You got two gauntlets. No, you got the regular gauntlet and Iron Man's gauntlet. The hair. Is, he and Superman saying God mode. Yo, he fucking up. You imagine? And then, you imagine him on like. On like Tekken or something, like them fighting games, like he probably be the, he'd like probably be the hardest guy. He'd probably be the hardest guy to fight on them. Man. Facts. You remember? Uh, y'all remember Ready to Box? Ready Ready to Rumble? Ready to Rumble. The boxing game. What system Dream, was that? <coughs> Dream. I vaguely, I vaguely remember it. I don't, know. I don't know. You had to fight Bruce Buffer, and he was like shredded, and he took up half the ring. That's just Bruce like, Buffer. <laughs> And right, he, he was, was like, like a cheap. He was like this like, big, and he's yeah. like, he's like, yeah. He took up half the <laughs> ring, and if you let him like laugh all the way, his whole rumble just filled up. And he right. fucked your shit up. They swing on you, and you and you lose. Then we have to connect. To kill. It's, well, all right, let me go farther back. You remember Mike Tyson punch out? Yeah, yeah. Dude, we used to laugh. crowd around like the whole neighborhood would come to the house for that. <laughs> Bro, it was. That dude was ready for anything and everything. California games, playing. you gotta be old to remember that. Nintendo. Oh, it's us. Oh, what y'all, is that? Yeah, y'all come on out. Come on out to the EX3 podcast <laughs> season two. Gonna be rocking it with G Man. I'm gonna be there. Ladies, it's your opportunity to, you know what I mean, fulfill your fantasy. See me in person. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget Lee's dating tactics that we talked about earlier. So yeah, yeah, I definitely will don't push. Don't dress, don't dress too like no Bowie, f- but dress a little bit. I just will have the Lee's attention. off button on. So. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. I'm joking. Depends All on the depends on the right lady comes around. Lee may flick it on. Oh, so right, she got that. She probably got cobwebs on it. Check. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I guess the Halloween season's coming up, so, you know. Cobbler, nah, yeah. but this, this is going to be a dope event, so we're going to have some artists. Cam is going to be there with his people, so. Oh, yeah, man. Join Empire so, wait, you take, it, you take it girls, long as they pay it? No, nah, I'm just joking. I can't even continue with that. <laughs> I, already <laughs> moved, I already moved on. <laughs> oh, man. I already moved on. Wow. Check out the new trans- you know what's Barbie. sad? You know what's sad? That I can see that happening. <laughs> yep. Well, it already happened. It's all your <laughs> man, you got like. I can a, tell this look is private that, Photoshop. Look at them pubes on there, man. That's some right? serious detail. It's like. Oh, man. You would think you when you trans. They're going to fight for that shit. Fact. But why not have it removable? Because you they might change their mind like Bruce Jenner. <laughs> Get the add on. <laughs> this is the new strap on the, edition. The take off. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Bruce Jenner doll You can add it You can put it back on With detachable dick Detachable penis <laughs> option <laughs> That's what's gonna happen It's gonna be a doll The breast gonna be it's removable Barbie or Ken Or both The penis gonna be removable And the wig is gonna it's be called, removable It's gonna be called Bark Ken <laughs> Bruh Barking It's the Bark Ken doll <laughs> It's coming It is that's so sad. But check this out. Check this out. Ken don't even have a dick. Nah, Ken really don't. Facts. He don't though. Yeah. Facts. Straight flat. Yo, you unlock <laughs> some shit. <laughs> you unlock well, some smash shit. Smash that shit like, off. You know that's the first place people check when they fucking get a doll <laughs> or clothes on. Just, just give her. I, I just wonder, you know. What they got just give her a, a, a Adam's <laughs> apple and like a six pack, and boom, that shit. <laughs> that's your um. I don't want to even term it because you you say the wrong thing, but whatever they call. It. That'll be the doll. Yo, we got one in my area, <laughs> in, in my apartment complex. This shit's scary, son. Cause it, I grew up. Yo, no, around some, so it I'm like, look like a guy or a girl. Oh, it really? Just look like a guy with parts on. What you mean with parts on? Or like I'm, add on. All I'm add saying on is, boobs, like, yeah, yeah look, like, look like pillows in shaved, there. Like, down. dude, that gets me, dude. How you dress as a woman <laughs> with a beard, man? No, 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 no. Not with the beard. <clears throat> they went full girl. Uh huh. But the mix, the, it didn't look like they took the hormones with it. it oh, I got like you. Just it's said, just a man like with me, and they just throw shit on. Like, nah, I feel like a lot of they uh, didn't prime it first before. I feel like a lot of them be looking like Scottie Pippen. Got the wrong they be like super on. masculine. You, look, six eight. Look, Jack. muscle. Yeah, Jack. got hair under the armpits and everything. Like, look, I can make this joke. My friend, my, my friend is gay. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Mikey. Look, if you go, now you can't joke about gay people, though. It's look, the rules. We gonna let these bars off. When you when you transition, you must prime your car first. Take the hormone pills. Take the necessary hormone pills. And then transition. It'll be. A, I think it'll be a better transition for you. You just can't just be a dude still got the testosterone levels, fucking out the roof, and then just add on yeah, parts. That, that don't look right. That don't Could you right. imagine like playing a pickup game with one? <laughs> they balling. You should have uh, been backing up off of. They, they okay, dunk. Okay. They dunking on you. Bam. You can have the paint, man. I'm backing yeah. up. I'm backing up. Cause it, it, the, the the reason why I say this because the mix looks bad. You got this like muscle definition and you just like hey guys doesn't work doesn't work or it's the opposite you you look good and then your voice is like your voice is like super deep because that throws me off every time it's weird because like it, you see the man features more like the fucking forehead the jawline like like damn you just you just don't make a good woman <laughs> adam's apple all the time right it's away. just shit Surviving R. Kelly wins best documentary or MTV Rewards. I thought this was fucked up. Surviving R. Kelly. I feel like this should have been like taken off the record books. Like you can't win awards for shit that helps try to close a case out. They put this film out for that reason. That, they're gonna use that as evidence. Well, your documentary yeah, did about to win say, an award. They use, they use that in court. Yeah, they did. Oh, what? No def- that no definitely doubt. persuade the jury. I never, what? I never seen it, but 
But I, I didn't know. I know. I, I, seen, I like, seen it. I didn't, see I didn't see all of it, but I, that's messed up, though, man. These parents were like letting their daughters just live with them and shit. And well, he was telling them that he could put them on and like make you famous and stuff. And then it was just like back in the day, that was kind of normal, though. Like families would get a daughter away. But you see everybody backtracking on Michael Jackson shit, though. Oprah said. Found out them niggas was lying. He was lying. They lied before. And then they lied again. It's like, come on, man. They said they got they got sexually raped close by the train. And the train wasn't even built during the time that they said it. I was like. Well, they Google mapped it. <laughs> <laughs> right. How, how bad that would that that would be crazy if they, they spotted it right on the Google map? It's like, oh, it's happening right now on the Google map. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has been dead for like 10 years. It's been a whole decade so far. I can't believe that's crazy. That's what I'm with. It's weird. been 10 years? It's been 10 years. Damn. Damn. That's weird. I think it, what, I think it was 2009. I always yeah. say this, though. I would have hate, have, have hated to see Michael Jackson grow old. That would have been an ugly sight. Yeah, it must have I mean, been. We because did see the beginning of Sage. Because, uh, you know. Imagine him at like 80, though. Prime. Nose would be gone. It was already, dang. Man. It fell one time. At, at, he wasn't looking good at 50, dude, so. No, he, at that time, he was all plastic and like wax. And yeah, like he was sweater. looking like an alien for real, for yeah. real. He never took that, uh, <laughs> that nose that nose job after the whiz because he broke his nose in the whiz. And then that's when his first surgery. And he was like, oh. I don't know, though. I feel like he get. I feel like he got a lot of excuses. They say he never had that Vigo Largo for shit. But I don't know. Because you I mean, remember, he, he went light skin. He went Puerto Rican. <laughs> then he went white. Then he went, like, fucking I would say he beyond was white. He was lit during Puerto Rican stage. Puerto Rican Michael Jackson. Yo, that was prime. That was prime. That's when you got bad. That's when you got, what else you got under that time? Uh, uh, you got Smooth Criminal. Ga- uh, Gasolina. Per Michael Jackson. <laughs> right? He would have been dropping a reggae thorn album. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> wow. Sound like a lit time. Like how bored with sex you gotta be to do that? Like a, you know, just in the bed, don't do it no more. <laughs> that nigga just riding, dude. I was like, I think I seen something like that at Fort Myers Beach before, man. Like, not gonna lie. That's gotta do the something. Beach, that the, vibration the gotta. Do oh something. yeah, yeah, especially for the woman, I would imagine. What? <laughs> Make your job easy. <laughs> <you know>? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Just rev that thing up. <laughs> I saw a meme said when a girl make you come in three strokes. And Dog. Got the championship belt. Dog. <laughs> you know what I don't. You know. Yeah, he did. You you know. You, you know what I don't get. Now we we've all seen porn before, right? right. That's a fact. You ever see the girl just just be getting derailed, like taking like just I, massive amounts, what? and it's nothing. And she's sitting there playing with herself. Facts. It's like, damn, what have you Stone been? Cold, no fi- no no emotion at all. Just like. Like what the fuck? I wonder what's going, what going through her mind. Like, all right, man, we made it this far, you know. Like, man, I can keep, I can keep on going. Man, like, she must have had every single type of penis, every curve, one to curve left, nothing curve is right, impressive curve up, that. curve down, fat, fucking fifteen inches, and it's to the point where it just that shit just blew out like a candle. <laughs> if I if I watch, it's gotta be like. I prefer, one one on one type deal. I prefer watching. Game, man, that girl nah, I be never like boss in that motherfucker. She was like, man, fuck all of y'all. And she just, be, just <laughs> <laughs> hands up. She, yeah, she just taking it and then like one dude, dude be like finish and then she be like, man, man move the oh, fuck one out dude. of the way. On to the next one, get, get his ass over here. You see that dude that feel left out? He like yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, my he's turn, always like, my turn. Dude's in the corner jerking <laughs> off, man. He like, like moving. Man. He like bumping the next. He's dude. always trying to like put it in the face. <laughs> hey, and hey, hey, get out of my way! Get out and my she's way. always like, dog. How can you put your thing in the girl's mouth when it was just like five other things just in her mouth? That does. I true. cannot do that. Does that make sense? Yeah, does I, it would, make, I wouldn't be able to do that. Either. It just don't make no sense. <laughs> like, dude, 
A dick was just in there, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally seconds ago, dude. I watched it happen. His dick residue <laughs> is now on your dick. <laughs> like, show some, show some, show your dick some courtesy, dog. Like, like, you gotta go, you gotta, nah. Let that shit flush out. Just take a few showers. Let that shit flush out. Yeah, yeah, can you uh, brush your teeth in between, please? <laughs> yeah, I'll be the dude with the. Uh, hey, you got, I got Listerine on the side. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just pour it in a cup. It's like I said, again. So handsome. It's, 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 it's like a Gatorade break in the middle of sports. You got like a Listerine break in the middle of porn. Right in the middle of gangbang. Yeah, hey. so put the hand sanitizer. You be like, you be like, you get excited and you be like, hold up, I'm, I'm seventh. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, <it's> <laughs> you gotta come out with the order right, beforehand, second, right? If it's a go or not. On you know? second thought, <laughs> even the pass. Nah, I'm not with it. Nah. Oh. <coughs> oh, that's that's classic. Some reason when you all right, I have to explain this one. So I took video of it. I probably posted online, so y'all see it on the. Uh, I I took video. I was in um the Dollar Tree. These two ladies collided with their buggies. And I'm talking about they went off. She said, "You know what? I have it on my phone here." <laughs> Dude, I had just went to a family dollar and the lady was complaining about the line too long. And she's talking about, is there a number I can call? And I, I'm thinking to myself, dollars general don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> the dollar store, bitch. That's what happens when, you, when you're already struggling in life. Little incident like that must put you over the edge. <laughs> Woo! About to Yo, be a brawl she, in the Dollar General. Yo, she was about, she was going off, and then old Takashi Six Nine over here, damn, snitching about. <laughs> she was like, hello. "There's some interference." Hello, nine one one, nine one one. What's your emergency? She hit my cart. She hit, she hit my cart. She didn't say excuse me. She hit my cart. Right. And then the other lady, she went in the full song. La, 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 la. I was like, damn, that music loud. So I would have got some chips. Oh, it's going to pop off. Right. I was, I was trying to feel more. But then I see Takashi 6 9 over here just snitching away. They get sticky up. Uh, <laughs> with the blinky. Uh. World star. Oh, Yo, I was trying to get some that, 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 that dance. Uh, that's funny, that's funny. Oh, shit. Oh. What were they looking at anyway? I don't know. That was that important. Let me see. I get a homeless. I was just trying to get a. What size is them? I don't know, man. You don't know? Where you get them shoes from? Crackers. What? Crackers. What you mean? You stole it? <laughs> In the store all the way down, nah. You better give them back because I'm the police. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. Stop. Okay. Turn around. Right. Turn around. I cannot believe you stole them shoes. What store did you steal this them This man got the Statue of Liberty shoes. Put them down. Now, where did you steal you them shoes from? Loafers. I didn't kill her. I picked her up. You, didn't, you, you stole them or you picked them up because I'm the police? I picked them up. Get my handcuffs. I, I did. I did. Bob no I more steal. If I let you go, you're not going to steal no more, right? No, ma'am. You're not going to steal no more? No, ma'am. You promise you're not going to steal no more? Yeah, he no never more. grew up. I, if you steal again, <laughs> you're going to jail. Do you hear me? That man. Now, go take them shoes back where you got them from. That man. Right now. That man. And no more stealing. That man. Oh, I scared them. Ooh, <laughs> don't call me big. Don't call me big. Don't call me big. I'm not big. You gonna call me fat? I'm not fat. Go no, take those shoes out. <laughs> oh shit, big one. <laughs> Yo, I died when I saw that shit. Oh, she a big one. <laughs> big ass shoes, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but that dude was he, he was small though, man. Yeah, right. I, I don't know if it was just like the perspective of the dude woman being yeah. big or not, but yeah, that's that's the old school crackhead. He got like when you oh, saw that dude shit. come up on you. you they used to knock on our door. So we had people try to sell us jumper cables. Old ass sandals, Facts. toasters, like literally Yo, they garbage. Don't sell you anything. Garbage from the street. They try to sell. Dude, when you. I was in at, when I was in Atlanta, maybe like two months ago, some dude was giving us a tour, man. <laughs> of his own, he was like, he was like, man, this is where I grew up, right over here on the corner, over here, all that. But if you go back over here, man, you'll see this museum. I'm like, oh man, thanks. I didn't know that, but uh, you know, I'll give him three bucks. Cause he at least gave me something. Uh, yeah, they got some homeless yeah. people too downtown Atlanta. Yeah, man, it's they be actually, trying to talk to you and that, shit. Yeah, I heard it was like one of the worst, one of the worst cities in the U.S. for that. Oh really? Yeah, but that shit don't bother me. That shit's sad, man. Yeah. That shit don't bother me. Yo, I want that door. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> These cats are gonna be exhausted. Dude, this door, whoever built this door is a real G, man, for real. Yo, they got that shit from Shark Tank from last episode. Right? They probably went to the land, Lord, Lord, we're gonna be trapping in here, so we need a, we need a good <laughs> you ass build door. This door good, we man. need a good door for our apartment. Yo, they just, they just switched three niggas. <laughs> nah, seriously, dog, they're gonna be sore. The He's got- tired of that door. <laughs> The dude, the dude, the dude's down the block. He's a mile away. Right, he ain't lying. This cat done got a plane ticket. <laughs> he got a kick the door down. This cat, cat, it, cat it, trying to go online and look at different prices. This cat went on Expedia. <laughs> he played the whole trip by the hotel. Got some flight miles. Come on, bro. That's a good dope. Can you imagine? Oh, what? oh, he ain't in here. <laughs> oh, bruh. <laughs> Damn, them had a heart attack, John. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yo, you can see them niggas was exhausted for that dough. Uh, that's <gasps> funny. That's funny. <gasps> I was tired of watching them. <laughs> nah, seriously, that's a that's a real ass dough. <laughs> you imagine in the hood you come up with like a it's just a the trap door installation. What? Yeah, I need a trap model. Yeah, yeah. Be Kick like, in resistant. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta build the house for like the trap situation. Anti swap. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Shit that's a up. good pitch for a shark tank. <laughs> I swear to God, that's so, so the trap, the dope. trap dope. Facts. <laughs> Screws don't go in half an inch deep, man. They go in about ten inches all the way, man. You ain't Yo, your your frame open. is lit. Your frame is set. This ain't this ain't one of them like hollow doors, man. This is solid, thick. Oh like, my goodness! It made me think of them old '90s movies where they was like. Oh, oh yeah. Bro, that's when you say this. This a this, this this apartment ain't for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got Yo, lock up that. There was a hotel I saw on the back roads on the way up to Orlando. It, the first word it said was safe, cozy, comfortable. But I feel like if you have to say safe right. on there, it's like I ain't gonna stay there. Right. That's like me giving you food. <laughs> Don't worry, it's safe. Right. Like yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I had a, dude, I was laughing for like an hour thinking of that shit. I'm like, hey, who thought, who thought that was a good idea to put on there? Right, man? Like, yeah. if you have to put that on there, don't fucking put that on there. Facts. You may sell some room. If I'm in a third world country, then yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> don't a- worry, uh, every door is installed with the trap dope. Like we got, you can't get in. No one's getting in this bitch. That's how you say it is the trap dope. <laughs> D O O R is D O R. Just trap D O. Trap Joe. Be spelled like that, too. This is the trap, though. <laughs> nah, I feel you on that. It's just like when you be driving, like on those roads and shit, and you see a restaurant, and it just say restaurant. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, like yeah. bitch, you can't think of a yeah. name? It's like, it's like, <laughs> nah, it's like, I ain't it's like mm, this is Maria's. Like, it's gonna be called like, diner. How do I know it's good? Like I don't I know plenty of like, what kind of food you got. You know? Yeah, like this is it. Oh restaurant. Yo, I'm so good. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Uh, uh, um yeah. I'm alright. <laughs> uh it's <a> watery. <laughs> oh, <man>. Um <laughs> I wanna say this. Sure. Yo Joker movie was fucking dope. 
Yo, it's yeah, like wanna, watch the Scarface. I want to see it. With a cartoon character on top of it. Yo, that shit was, it was so deep. You, it like, even though he did fucked up shit, like it made sense of why he did it though. Because if you was in his position, guarantee if you was in Yo, his position, honestly, have you heard you the, would have went off like the that. alternate of Batman and the Joker? Like how the Joker was actually the good guy and the Batman Batman was actually the bad guy? Yo, like the Joker was, was trying to point out all the flaws in society where Batman was trying to like push him down? Yeah. yeah like, I mean, even with that Dark Knight series, he lied. He lied to keep yeah. the city safe. He said he did it instead of. Spoiler alert for anybody that had it. No, nah, don't, do don't do it. Don't do it. I would have done that. After fucking 10, 10 years. years what? <laughs> <laughs> when that thing came out, 2008, so 11 years. So, but when that shit came out, like, they kept a lie going for eight years before what the Dark Knight Rises came in, yep. right? So, I feel like, like, and then there was a quote that came out and said, when we was younger, we idolized Batman. And as we realize more, as we get older, we start to idolize uh, Joker because he's starting to make more sense. Well, like, he was pointing out all the flaws in society. Facts. Like, when that, that boat scene especially, man. Like, he, want, he was expecting them people uh, that were not the non-prison boat to blow up the pe- prisoners. But they both, they didn't. And he was expecting one of them to die. Because in from the good boat, quote unquote, right, right, from the right. bad boat, quote unquote, they're still like, they didn't choose. Not to say, you guys, let's think about this at the same time. Criminals don't pick their path a lot of times. There's very few in between. I can say 5% pick that path because no they like it. The rest of them, they didn't there because of protection. Product of their environment, right. man. Really. The cops like, don't come to their area. Yeah, um, survival of the fittest. Exactly. So you need some protection, and you getting tired of your house getting ran through. You need you need fucking protection. Some home protection. So nine times out of ten, most of these kids come to games. I'm lucky I never had to go to a game. But that shit's terrible, and we need to start getting these people like where like where there's still laws to this day where and and not to like go deep. But there's still laws to this day where black people cannot even go to a certain area. It's written in the books. Look at Japan, though, right? They say, like, in Japan, you can get drunk and you can pass out. You can fall asleep on the um on the street. Your cell phone here. Your wallet is here. And when they wake up, their cell phone is still there. The wallet is still there. Oh, like, man. they bred out all of impulsivity, all of what people say, antisocial traits like they just don't have crime and they and they like they say when you go on like the subway in dc or new york you know the way people act people bump into you but they say in like japan everyone respects your space like it's just super orderly no one has to like guide people to be oh you go first they just they just work shit out it's weird they're like a very unique it's a very unique place on that on that subject of passing out man I was I was in Miami Beach. Yeah, <laughs> dude, dude was pa- this dude was passed out, man. His phone was hanging out. I'm like, watch, that's just gonna be gone in like a minute. And literally, walk not even a minute passes, and this dude is like, bro, you wake up, your that phone out your of pockets head, are was, flipped was, inside. Was, I saw him later that day. He was making phone calls on that thing. I can't. I, you couldn't Here's get away thing, with that at all. And I posted this on my Facebook page. I don't know what it is, and and my choices ain't never been that great in the past. I'm s- some odd reason something telling me to go to this Andrew, Andrew Yang situation. I think I'm going to cast my book that direction. This man is trying to help. He's coming from our generation. Our generation is finally uh, of age to be able to come into office now. And they're coming with more of compassion and heart. Well, he's not even person. coming from compassion at all. He's coming just from uh, uh, the technical standpoint uh just being functional i'm trying to think of the word uh being efficient and just being realistic he's not even he's not a like a, a heart bleeding liberal as people would say he just recognizes that jobs are going to be obsolete a lot of jobs a lot of service jobs a lot of trucking jobs they're just not going to exist that's just a fact and you have a plan for it's true. it 
It's true. Like they're saying, a lot of people are going to school and they're not even being trained for jobs that are not they're not even thought of yet. Artificial intelligence is 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 gonna make its way. It's just a reality, and we're gonna have to find things to do with our time. We're gonna have to find ways to be productive and still be good citizens. It's gonna be a, here, baby. We better get ready to do our production. It could be <laughs> devastating, though, in a way, because a lot of people get their self worth and value from the things they do. So if you don't have nothing to do, like what? Why are you waking up? What do you do with your time? Like a lot of young kids get in trouble because they don't have hobbies and they don't have supervision. Right. Well, then naturally, they get themselves in the bad situation because right. they're just saying. So imagine a, adults or young adults with nothing to do, no purpose. Is the main thing no purpose? What are what are people gonna do? Like everyone can't be an artist. Everyone, it's just I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna be like in the future. I'm glad I'm not. I don't want to be born in that future. To be honest with you, I think we're heading there very soon. Well, I think we still gonna be alive for this. Well, we'll be towards the end of it. Yeah, we will. But I mean, I feel like we still gonna like touch. Like even my mom, she's seen people her department the people that do what she do she works in medical records and it just gets smaller and smaller it gets pushed out right well, now data entry right now she off, does off source that job man it costs half a money amount of money facts and um even now <coughs> they have it right now where um artificial intelligence will call you and have a conversation with you so so even because she moved to the department where she kind of just does phone calls she was like going through records highlighting stuff, putting tabs on stuff, putting point stuff out. But now she's just, you know, more simpler role, but they're getting rid of that too. Like literally and they already centralized it. Like every hospital had a medical records, right? And what they did, they made one location. And so they they got rid of a lot of people and now it keeps going. Now they what you said about overseas people and it's it's it crazy. Costs half the amount of money. So naturally yeah. people are gonna make the wise decision and just not spend it. And the other day I had a package delivered. I'll get the new mic. And the package, uh, I guess, w- uh, was missed because you had to, like, sign for it and stuff. And I mm-hmm. called, and it, literally the first thing they said was, it looks like you had a missed delivery on blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wait a second. How can you know that? Like, straight up, just right away, just said that like, because of my phone number. And I'm like, damn. The, like, the serious. I'm like, how do, you, how do you know that? It worked the opposite direction. Somebody had sent me because um, I had a, a mask sent to me, and it wasn't sent correctly and they just left the package up under the mailbox like oh, there was yeah. no space and, and and then it sent me a picture of course i was like all right great and so i had to rush to the fucking house i'm like dude anybody i don't care what neighborhood you is i see a free package on the fucking ground they just picked that bitch up dude there's videos of people that's why they get the, like doorbell cams and shit there's yeah. plenty of videos yeah, of people that steal that yeah. shit, one man. of them the ring thing. yeah 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 but my like my counterbalance to that are my anxiety panics about that because yes it helps you see whatever what, but they, see. what they see from their <laughs> right, angle right. they can just tap into your shit you know if anybody seen that's true uh, it sucks because like for everything that helps you out there's an opposite reaction to that too camera sitting on this yeah no doubt here, man. you know like, i remember when the i remember when the connect came out for the xbox man that was the shit i was like dude like you can go like row remember that rowing game or stuff you dude my do, uh like dancing and all that my but, like, uh that, my shit turns on every once in a while just randomly. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking yeah. do that. My, uh, my ex, her brother was a big gamer. And uh, he said he was in his bed sleep. And the camera cut on and it and it turned. Oh, yeah. And pointed at him. Well, see, my, my, mine would be on. Mine would be on and then one bit second it would be off. And then, like, I'd be like, all right, that's cool. And then all of a sudden it'd say, it'd listen to what I'm saying. Like, I could see it in the top corner of my screen saying, like, Xbox listening. I remember a long time ago, like, early 2000s, it made the news that uh, all computers were being built with microphones inside of them. This was, like, early 2000s. So they, they, they you know, we're being, we're being spied on to some extent. Well, yeah. They want to tap in, they'll tap in. No doubt. I mean, if you give them a reason to as well. So, All right, let's get the fuck up out of here. But before we get up out of here. Um, going roll the Uh-oh. dice, one each. I don't know why I'm doing this, what? but you said the highest wins. Lowest. The lo- oh the yeah, lo- the, the highest lo- wins. The yeah, highest sure. wins. The I'm rolling one or two. Is the the, the loser. Okay. The lowest is the loser. <laughs> nah, you got no. Nah, don't try that. I got one. No, it's got to hit the air and then the ceiling. Damn, oh, I won. I got the highest this, number. This nigga keep trying to throw it in the door. No, it has to oh. hit the air. 
Let I'm it. glad. No, you I had to throw it up because it's soft. Do you realize that that's the highest number? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Fuck with me. <laughs> Look one. at it. It's one. <laughs> you got it. He won. <laughs> All right, who's next? Heads up. <laughs> what you got? You ain't got a one. I got four. You got four. So I see what you got. You might be safe. You might be safe. Oh, uh, man. You get that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, she gotta go too? Yep, everyone. Nope, don't try that. <laughs> oh, she's safe as a mother. But she, she got, got a two. six. Oh, uh, yep, yep. But Cam got a four. Ooh. Ah, Lee got, got a it. two. Lee, no, you, you said the it. highest win. No, I said the lowest. Ah, uh, Lee, right. you got the well, uh, let's get the award. I don't want to touch it, dog. You're, you're losing. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's been used already. So you can see the camera. You got the camera on that? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, I, need, what's the, I need a hazmat uh, suit. <laughs> oh, nah. oh, man. That thing, I I, that thing I was been having fun the whole time we was That shit we might get my hand pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right, also, new thing that we add on to the show. We got a lo- uh, our a low budget meal for today, brought to you by <laughs> Toast and Popums. That's premium. Pop-ups. All the nutrients you need. <laughs> huh? <laughs> it don't even look like that. Ain't dick. even a good name, man. Pop ups. All right, get them with the dick. Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> she he don't look happy with the that. Pure, the pure excitement on these <laughs> right. right now, man. It, look, it looks like an alien. Yeah, that's like kind of like a mushroom, honestly. I was thinking, like a small oh, like. Let me get one. I think even a blackmail me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh man. There goes my career. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. When you, you search, when you when you search Lee Ab, I was line, gonna find right. I, I was gonna run Lee. for office, and you know. We need to make a good border around that Facts. picture, though, saying like number one, like last place dice they gonna be known as Lee the penis holder <laughs> <Fact>. <laughs> it looks like a used penis holder uh, <laughs> already jizz anyway we got our low budget meal let's go ahead and get this nutrients this is known to cause cancer in infants and uh, <laughs> lower your sperm count it's been hey, scientifically hey, that's proven that, to reduce population that's that, uh, <laughs> that off button you was talking about man whatever they got in there facts Oh, it's got the off button yeah, yeah. serum in there. This is, this is, yeah, the off button juice. I yeah. read the ingredients. It was sugar, flour, and water. Break a piece. Nah, I can't eat that, dog. You don't want the you got it, you got Nah, it, dog. <laughs> dude, it's like missing icing, like right in the middle, man. It's not even like fully coated <laughs> all the way across. Like they got lazy. I like, wouldn't, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feed that to a death row inmate. <laughs> Close. It's close. Yo, your mouth looks so dry right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cotton mouth to the max. <laughs> they ain't like no juice. They got no moisture Dude, in look there. at that. There's like literally there's nothing in there. Nothing. And like people it's feeding like, this to their kids, though. They just, they miss so many pieces. Like, there's edges. They look like Home Depot paint. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? There's nothing on there. It's like. I ain't gonna lie. I like the crust. I'm a crust guy. That is probably like. I can't do it, bro. It tastes like cardboard with a little bit of like probably, uh, probably a little bit of strawberry sauce. Probably drywall and food coloring <laughs> in that bitch. <laughs> you get, dude, you ever see people? Uh, you ever see? There's a video like a toilet was missing, like the front half of the bowl, and they took ramen noodles, and they you saw that, and they put it in there, and they're like, did they heat it? I don't remember, but it basically it's just like plaster, dude. Ramen noodles. They shaped the, the toilet. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't even go that far. But they replaced it with ramen noodles. Yeah, they, yeah, used, they the ramen the noodle ramen. was like a pl- uh, a plaster of some sort. Like they, they built. I always had a theory that ramen noodles isn't really food, though. Nah, man, it's like powder, and then you just put it uh, like it's like space food, really. I don't know what that shit is. Uh. All right, man, we gotta get the fuck up out of here. Um, Cameron, go ahead and hit you with his social media. Right? Hey, yeah, hit up Jet, Joint Empire Troop. That's on all platforms, Spotify, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all that fun stuff. We got a uh, uh, Christmas EP coming up. Look forward to it. We it's in the works right now. Um, if you haven't already checked us out, uh, you should listen to Cadillac Summer. It's been on since July. You should get on that. It's pretty dope. Got my boy uh, Zex on there and my girl Grace. 
She kills it. But uh, yeah, man, a lot of new shit coming out. Get very excited. Lee gonna head hit him. Your boy Lee beats one and only. Mac like Ronnie, sharp like Rob, pretty like Tony. I got a new single. Come on, baby, on all services. Uh, Lee beats on all platforms as far as social media. And what else I got? Hit me up on YouTube and LeeABeats.com if you need beats. And if you need a DJ, hit me up also. Boom. Hey. As always, EX3 Network. Everything. We finna get ready to take over the fucking nation. Um, EX3 Podcast. Season 2. It's the most important thing ever. Y'all come out here. Y'all have a show. We're gonna start off with the spiritual podcast. If you wanna get your spiritual... Lit, huh? Oh, hey, how you doing? Um, <laughs> you got your spiritual podcast is gonna come up first, okay? They're gonna give you, they're gonna give you the reiki. They're gonna take all the energy and make it sure it's it's in a good place. And then we gonna come in with your ratchet shit. We're gonna talk some shit. Boom. Special guest, we got G Man from ninety eight point five coming through. And then we're going to have the showcase, uh, my first event up under the EX3 banner. Um, we, well, not necessarily the first event, but we're going to get ready to kill this shit. There's going to be a stage. There's going to be everything. Uh, are you cooking? We might have a cook. Well, Gabe going to be cooking. So we're going to have Gabe in the kitchen. And we're going to have her in the kitchen. She don't know. It. No, she's not going to be in the kitchen. Because she's going to be editing. Yes. Well, she could cook beforehand. Facts. Keep it on burners. It's anyway. Slow, slow also, the date, the location, and the time. Date, location, time. Uh, We're going to be at the Mystic Martian CBD store, Palm Beach. Hold on. Let me What's get the address right phone? here? Put my phone in. No, that's not that. Huh? What? We're not prepared. Just bear with no. us. Well, if if you sponsor us, we'll be prepared and we'll, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's on the screen. Boom. It's on the screen. And what time yes. we jump on the 8? The address is 3813 Palm Beach Boulevard, Fort Myers, Florida, 33916. Y'all make sure y'all get out there. There's limited space. This is an exclusive event. So you better get out there early. You're going to miss the fucking show. And we got a VIP section that's closest to the AC vent. So <laughs> <laughs> make sure you book it. <laughs> oh, man. So y'all come out there. Y'all enjoy a good time with us. It's season two. We're going to be promoting it more. Um... And, and we're going to rock out, guys. Y'all come out there. Y'all enjoy a good time. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. Oh, are we? And, and oh. check out uh, Mystic Martian. Shout out to them for letting us use their location. Facts. Make sure you check them out. Do business with them. Exactly. Y'all go over there. Try some CBD. Uh, there will be alcohol present. He has his license for that. We're going to be trying some CBD stuff. So, you know, you're going to be you're gonna be getting lit. And you're going to be healed at the same time. Think about that. You can get lit and healed and say, y'all going to feel like Wolverine. Woo! Regeneration. So there ain't many places that can offer both of those. Facts. You're going to get a show, another show. You're going to be entertained. You're going to be healed. And then another show. And then you're going to be healed, but lit at the same time. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a good time. Good vibes. So. Facts. EX3. Season 2. We're coming on the 21st. October. Boom. And we out, baby. Ladies, come out. C- come out. I don't want it to be a sausage party, though. Facts. Very well could be. We, we nah, could, we got... Don't mind, t- t- don't mind sausage touching. <sighs> this guy. I like sausage links. Hold on, Jesus. I like <laughs> mine. Unlink. Store brand sausage link name Facts. would be... Huh? What the store brand sausage name link would be. I'm trying to have a taco taco night.